Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the episode 12, I believe, of the how to make a plum vs zombie style game in Unity. And today we'll be focusing on mainly the animations of uh, the plants and zombies. Mostly the plants though. Maybe in next episode we could explore the animations for the zombies and stuff. So actually, thanks for a subscriber to actually recommend this video today. So yeah, let's get started. So firstly, let's uh, just put one plant in a scene, you know, so we can play around a bit. Let me just find it. So let's find the first plant. Um, black plant guard. That's the zombies. Oh, here it is, the plant object, sorry. Alright, so let's come here and let's find the the art styles for the sunflower. Here I guess it is, yep. Um, let's just find it, where is it? Here it is, the sunflower. So there's a lot of ways that we can handle the actual animation in Unity. One way would be to draw out the different sprites and then just, you know, gather all in one and do the animation this way. So let's say you had a different kinds of sprites all in one, then you could do that. But as you can see, you only have one. So what we could do is try and apply some basic kind of animations. So here, let's just install the 2D package. This will install all the animations and all, so that's why we couldn't do it previously. Sprite editor. Hopefully you see, oh, you didn't see that. Oh, sorry. Uh, let me just switch to this. So that's the sprite editor here. So let me just clear everything so I can start all over again. I didn't realize you didn't see it. So that was what we started with. So now we'll come here, uh, skinning editor, in the sprite editor, and we'll click on create bone. So again, let's start from here, from the root. We go up the spine basically and let's just end it right here. Now that we've got this, click on apply and let's just come into the auto geometry and generate for selection and we can also generate the weight. So that's how you see things can move by dragging and dropping this right here. So now let's just try and make the whole animation a little bit less weird as you can see these are the parts. let's try and change things. So let's come under edit geometry, let's add Of course you could just go really crazy on this and subdivide it to the maximum level so as you can see it's a little bit more accurate now it doesn't you know cause weird distortions and has the limits as you can see it's rather good oops so you can click on apply and here again let's just modify the animation once more so you want sunflower and just to draw these keyframes so 30 here let's just click on record again and here let's not forget to three boots good 
now I've got any one but so 30 record and I here I just move this a little bit move this a little bit move this a little bit and you can move this a little bit as you can see now control V here so now in 30 let's delete this here here again I just have the leaves move a little bit just a little oops, just a little bit And just have this, copy this, and paste it here. Save this. And now we are officially done with the animations. As you can see, you can customize it the way you want. But yeah, that should pretty much do it. And if you play, you can see that it should technically work out of the box. As you can see during the playtime it's actually animating which is sweet so in the next episode we'll go about looking how to actually use this animation alongside the scripts for the plant prefab and yeah so thank you guys as always don't forget to leave a like subscribe if you are not already and also leave a comment if you have any suggestions or questions, queries, anything. Uh, yeah, so see you guys in the next one. Bye.